to get a jump on the work I have to do today, I came out here yesterday and I glued on all of the knuckles on all 44 slats. Hold them on, I'm just using one inch pin nails. And now today I've come out and set up a very simple jig on my drill press to hold the slats exactly where I need to drill the hole in the end for the pin. Basically the way this works is the slat goes in and goes up against the stop flush with the top of this or even a little bit higher then I can tighten the clamp and drill the hole. Now I can take it out put it aside and do the next one. And continue until I get all the holes drilled. For the pins I'm going to be using 12 gauge wire cut to about an inch long. They'll go into each end of the slats and then go into the frame. Very simple hinging system. I used it on my original uh, blinds that I used in my old house and they held up great. To do the layout on the styles, I've got one of the rails here. I'm just going to line it up at the bottom. The styles have been cut to the correct length for the height of the window already giving about an eighth of an inch on the top and the bottom and line up the rail with the end of the style mark out the rabbit then I'm going to take my tape and measure up seven eighths of an inch above that rabbit right here and I've made this marking block that is exactly three eighths of an inch wide exactly is a relative term it doesn't have to be exactly it depends upon the width of your slats my slats are around one and a half inches wide you want them to overlap slightly so the spacing center to center spacing of the pins has to be less than that so I've chosen an eight and I'm going to use this block to mark out this first style all the way up until I get 22 marked out and then I'll use this one to mark out the other three I've got the other three clamped onto the first one I'm going to write bottom on each one just so I don't get confused coming up. I'm going to take my square and draw a line across to mark all of them in the same position. I managed to break the only 764 drill bit that I've got while dismantling the jig that I made to drill the holes in the end of the slats. So I've got to quickly sharpen what's left of it. I can't say it's as good as new, but it's better than nothing. Now that they're all marked, I've got my drill press set up with the fence here. And I put my bit that I broke in. And I'm going to start drilling these holes. Once again, all of this is, you know, it's not... Um, rocket science. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It can be very close and it'll still look great. So I just got a mark on the back here that represents the center of the bit and I'm going to line up the marks with that by eye and just drill them. stop the video here I just did a little bit of a I don't know pre-assembly to check it all out um, I've got 88 pieces of wire to cut and I figure the best way to do it is just stand here and cut a bunch stick it into the end of the blind like this cut it off so that there's about three-eighths of an inch sticking out really not that important as long as it's not too long Leaves these about an inch long. I'm going to stick it in the hole and then put the line on there. And then you can see how it goes together. And then there's going to be a rod that will be put on after the whole thing is assembled. And I've got small number four screws that will go through these holes and into the rod. Not tight, just loose. And then you grab the rod and you push it up 
and it opens all the blinds at the same time, like so. And then push it down and it closes them like that. Uh, I'm thinking about leaving these wood grain actually. I was going to paint them to begin with, but I'm thinking at least for now I'm going to leave them as they are, just plain, and see how they look. I'll put them up and uh, go from there.